welcome to another simple instructional snippet. In this snippet, we calculate the radial heat transfer rate from a steel pipe with two layers of insulation. Let's review how we calculate radial heat transfer from a thermal resistance network. The equation for heat transfer is equal to the change in temperature divided by the sum of all the thermal resistances. The simple situation shown has only one thermal resistance. To calculate the thermal resistance due to conduction and cylindrical coordinates, we need the inner and outer radius, the length of the cylinder, and the conductivity. The equation for thermal resistance is shown here. Here is the problem statement. We will be calculating the heat transfer rate from a unit length of pipe, which in this case corresponds to one meter. We will also calculate the intermediate temperatures between the composite layers. Let's review the pipe and insulation data, starting with the steel pipe. The inner and outer radii are shown along with the conductivity. Let's add the first layer of insulation to the steel pipe. Note that the outer radius of the steel pipe is the inner radius of the insulation. The outer radius and the conductivity of the insulation are provided. Now let's add the second layer of insulation along with the corresponding data. We will need two boundary conditions. In this example, the temperature on the inside of the pipe wall is 225 degrees Celsius. The outer surface temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's draw our thermal circuit from the inside pipe wall to the outer surface. We denote the intermediate temperatures as TA and TB as shown. We also label the resistances R1, R2, and R3. Now let's calculate the resistance for the steel pipe denoted as R1. Calculation and results are shown here. Now let's do the same for the first layer of insulation, denoted as R2. Note that it is many orders of magnitude greater than the resistance from the steel pipe. Finally, let's calculate the resistance for the second layer of insulation using the same procedure. Now we use the equation for heat transfer through a thermal resistance network. The heat transfer rate is 89.61 watts. Now let's find the intermediate temperature between the steel pipe and the first layer of insulation, TA. We define the thermal circuit from the inside of the pipe wall to the outside of the pipe wall. Since we now know the heat transfer rate, the only unknown is TA. TA is equal to 224.97 degrees Celsius. There is very little temperature drop across the steel pipe. This is not surprising since the conductivity of the steel is significantly greater than the layers of insulation. It is the layers of insulation that are limiting the heat flow. Now we repeat that process to find the intermediate temperature between the two layers of insulation denoted as TB. TB is equal to 71.29 degrees Celsius. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.